got a little loft wing. Oh, we need to name it. We need to name it just for fun. Um. I'm thinking Scooter. Should we name him Scooter? Scooter. Scooter the loft wing. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think we should name Link's loft wing down in the comments? Oh no! Let me know. I'm giving you the stereotypical YouTuber. Like lions, you know. Let me let me know in the comments. No, I, th I think Scooter's a fun name. But I'm not I'm not fully sold on it though. I'm not fully sold on Scooter for the loft wing. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Well, yeah, usually I get that feeling around dinner time and my wife is like, Come on, dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. Someone's calling out. No, I'm just joking. My wife is super cool. Um, she's super chill. I don't know where I'd be without my wife. Probably like stumbling around trying to figure out where my left shoe was. That's where that's where I would be without my wife. <laughs> Some say it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there far more vast than Skyloft. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Breath of the Wild? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's that's what I love about Zelda games. You get to like connect any kind of dots that you want. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Leap off the edge. Nope. This time, this time, we're just going to go for it. <laughs> you got to love Link. Like, like she pushed him off one time. He almost <laughs> fell to his death. And then she's telling him to jump off again. And he's just like, oh, yeah, sure. Sure, I'll jump off the... I'll jump off into the clouds one more time. Whoa! Oh, and let's call that. Let's call Scooter. Here he comes. Scooter. Good catch. Good catch, Scooter. Yeah, the first time that I hopped on the loft wing in this game. Oh my goodness. It just felt so beautiful. And, uh... And it's just like, wow, this is an incredible mechanic. And incredible area to explore and it will be epic if they build upon this in Breath of the Wild 2. It'll be just epic. Um, uh, because it's just like, I don't know, it's just an incredible feeling. The, uh, the flying mechanics, the flying physics of the bird just feels so fluid and like the developers just really nailed it uh, as far as like like you really feel like you're up on a bird it was so funny because like like my son um, uh, when we started playing um, when we hit the loft wing like like he, he like switched over to mo motion controls and was like immediately just fully immersed in just like the flight experience um, and it was really cool to see right, right it was really cool to see the the joy of a the joy of a, of a child, you know, um, just like, just the imagination carrying them away, like, like, oh, I'm piloting this loft wing. And again, that all that to say is like, it's such an incredible job by the developers to like, like really pull in the player to like, just feel like you're part of the game. And it's funny, it's funny watching uh, YouTubers, uh, you know, critique, critique, critique the Legend of Zelda game. And it's like, you forget, like, these games were made for, like, like 10-year-olds, you know? These are not made for, like, grown men, you know? Grown men are not the target audience, you know? Or it's like, you gotta forget, you, you gotta remember that, like, these are made for kids, you know? Like, little 10-year-olds, you know? Little, little 7, 8-year-olds, you know, that... With a lot of these things that, that we tend to kind of critique and 
you know, you got to realize where it's like, oh, you know, this is, you know, this is a, a seven-year-old has to get through this game. You know, you don't want to make it so challenging, you know. Uh, but anyways, that's that's a little rant. A yeah, little rant. Oh, my wife's our text. My wife is texting me. What? There's a package at the door. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Well, I'm back, and you guys won't believe. Uh, thankfully, I answered my wife's text. Again, like I was saying, where would I be without my wife? And look what showed up. Uh, oh, what? Super cool. Super cool. Oh, this... This little amiibo. Look at this. What is it? Like, what? What? Sorry. There we go. There we go. Is that... Oh. Come on, Steven. Figure this out. There. How's that? How's that? Is that better? Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. I was so excited. That's cool. So that's, like I was saying, uh, where would I be without my wife? I, I would be... It's awesome. That's awesome. Like, how cool is that? My wife gets gets stoked as much as I do about like some of the some of these things, so I'm excited. Back to it, Bruce. What's up? You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about he's gonna how he's going to be the one to be with. Him. Oh, that was, that was not cool. That was not cool. Come on. Come on, Steven. <laughs> Today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that cell cloth. There we go. Oh yes, the cell cloth, Zelda cell cloth will be mine. <laughs> yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. Alright. <laughs> Cruz is definitely head over heels for Zelda. That's, uh, that's something else. Oh. Oh, oh, look at Stretch. Stretch, what's what's he doing? What are, what are those jazz hands in the background? What is, what is that? <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Like, I, I don't know. That's a, a new dance, man. New dance. <gasps> Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 